Welcome to Rockford Corporation, home of Lightning Audio. This is where we test and validate all of our products. Why don't you follow me and I'll show you how we do it. Hey Jason. Hey man, what's up? Hey, I brought these guys to uh, show you validating the true thousand watts of this Lightning Audio amplifier. What do you think? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Okay, well since I have this on my bench here, I can go over some of the features of this Lightning amplifier here. So we'll start on this side. We have your audio inputs here for RCA. You also have a uh, connector here for high level input if you want to do speaker level directly into the amplifier. And then there's a pass through RCA output so you can send signal from, from this amp to another amp amplifier if you want. Next over is your level control or your gain. This switch here is a 0 to 180 degree phase switch so that will be used if uh, you're using certain kind of enclosures in, in certain vehicles you can swap the phase of that in and out 180 degrees. Next over is your crossover control. This one goes 50 to 250 hertz. This is since this is a subwoofer amplifier. This is a low pass crossover only. Um, next over is your bass boost. You can get up to 12 dB of boost at 45 hertz. And then we also uh, this amp also comes with a remote level control, which plugs in right here. All right, well, we got the amp all hooked up here. Um, I'm gonna turn on some of this equipment. This is called an Audio Precision. It's a uh, pretty standard um, testing equipment for audio amplifiers, signal processors, stuff like that. Um, pretty much everybody in the industry uses them. Um, and home audio, pro audio, all that stuff. So, I'm bringing that up on the screen here and you can kind of see what this does is it has a um, audio generator, which I can, send whatever frequency I want and as much uh, voltage as I need to this amplifier to get it to go to uh, max power. At the same time it's got an analyzer so I can actually see what was going on here and so you'll see how much power we're getting here in watts. You'll see the THD here. Um, you'll see our B plus voltage here. I'll go ahead and turn that on you can see that come up. Let's turn this amplifier on and get started. All right, she's on. So I'll start with uh, a low input voltage. You can see this is our signal. I'm putting a uh, 100 hertz test tone right in it, and this is the output of the amplifier. So you can see we're at 117 watts. Um, I've set it to one ohm, and let's just adjust the output by adding more input until we get to a clip signal. As you can see, so there we are right at 1% THD and 100 amps of current. So, and you see our voltage is 14.4, so um, that's industry standard what we test to, but we all know that car will, doesn't do that, so we'll go down to 12 and a half volts there. Lessen our signal, get back to 1% THD, and at 12 and a half volts, it does almost exactly 1200 watts. So there you are, 1000 watt lightning amp, doing 1200 watts. All right, Jason, thanks for putting that on the bench. No the proof's in the pudding, folks. When we say 1,000 watts, a lightning audio amplifier makes a true 1,000 watts, and then some. Thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more to come.